This is my review for the ZT Innovate 2207 2000 kV motor. Hey guys, so we're out in the field now. I'm gonna give these motors a full send and we're gonna see what they're capable of. 2207 generally I would use if I was racing. I'm a freestyle pilot more so, so I would use a 2306, but I started out with a Nazgul 5 and Nazgul 5s came with 2207. I think it was like 2750 kV. So I'm familiar to the 2207 motor and I'm sure these things are gonna be incredible. The copper windings on the inside instantly sticks out compared to other companies. Right away, I see that bright yellowish copper. Instead of that orangish reddish copper, you can see the quality like immensely right away. So let's see what these things are capable of. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thumbs up, smash that like button if you enjoy it. I generally use a 2306 size, but this will be something new to kind of play around with. Um, I know 2207s for mainly being a um, racing style motor, but that doesn't mean that you can't actually freestyle with them. Um, first thing I noticed as of characteristic wise with these motors, is that they're super snappy on that high end as any 2207 kV motor would be. And this is of course 6S, so you've always got that instant punch out whenever you need it. I'm flying right now on the China Hobby Line 6S, uh, 1100 milliamp batteries. Low throttle resolution is super locked in. Something I always look for in a motor no matter what. I want to have that low throttle control, but also be able to have that snappiness, right? So, instantly impressed by that. Last time I was out here was actually for another review. This seems to be like the review spot. But, uh, these motors are for sale if you guys are interested. This company is fresh into the FPV scene. They're coming in with $19.99 with these motors individually. So you're looking at roughly the same price as almost an eco motor in Canada, because in Canada we pay around 19 bucks for an eco motor. So you're looking at eco motor price, but in my opinion, a lot better quality than an eco motor. So if that's something you guys are interested in picking up, I'll leave some links in the description and you guys can go grab some. Oh, and the first white coat. They took a crash quite well, so that's a good first sign. Mind you, that wasn't a bando crash, so that's not typical flying. Smoothness, like if I'm talking about smoothest characteristics of the motors, they are locked right in. Most of my flying career I flew for us. So 6S is something I've been flying for probably just under a year. And I noticed that I can finally do things that I couldn't do before. With that extra addif additional throttle resolution.
not even sure what just happened. There's a big old punch out. Hands free. Let's go. Well, I kind of went silent on you guys there for a little while, not intentionally. It was more of like a kind of just getting in a trance. Yeah, but if you guys are interested in these puppies, uh, they are available. Um, I do have a signature motor as well coming out. It's a 2306, 2120 kV. These ones are locked in at 2000 kV. Cinematic style, I almost said cinnamon. It's not cinematic, so RF signal critical. That's not healthy. Well, it's not um, cinematic style, but like the oomph like is crazy. It's always there when you need it. And the, thro the throttle resolution at really low is incredible. So we're back at the house now. Now is the opportunity where I get to actually show you guys what these things look like up close. These ones here are the blue selection. I have a red set inside and we're going to take a closer look at the red set. This is my review for the ZT Innovate 2207 2000 kV motor. This one specifically is red. There's a blue option as well. Let's check it out. So on the inside, of course, we have the motor. We have some screws that are going to help mount the motor, of course. And deep down inside there, there's a little nut for the motor to hold the prop on. Let's take a closer look at the actual motor itself. Jeez, look at that copper. First thing I noticed right off the hop is the quality of that copper. Like. bottom the magnets are super high quality all evenly spaced no proof of any residue glue that's sitting on the bottom 
Like the glue job for the magnets is super clean. And there's the label for the 2207, 2000 KV. On the other side, we have the ZT Innovate logo. There is some sort of locking mechanism on the top so that when you put the prop down, it'll lock into the top of the motor nicely. Nice solid threading for the screws to go into the bottom. High quality copper right off the hop, I notice. Uh, I'll give you guys some information on these motors actually. They're using a Kawasaki 0.15 stator. The bearing is an NSK bearing that's inside this. And the magnets are N55SH. Curved magnets, of course. This motor is capable of handling from 2 to 6S, which is quite a wide range, because you could go anywhere from a 2-cell battery to a 6-cell battery, which gives you quite the availability of um, options when you want to switch up different packs. The length of these motor wires is 155 millimeters, and it is 22 gauge. The aluminum that the motor is constructed of is 7075, so you can guarantee you're going to have lots of durability. So when we put the motor on the scale, see what it's coming in at. Exactly 31 grams. Not too bad. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review on the ZT Innovate 2207 2000 KV motor. If you'd like to check these out or grab yourself a set, I'll leave a link down in the description. As always, thank you so much and stay safe. Happy ripping, people.